and Central Prison is a testimony of our ministry's efforts to improve the health and well-being of the inmates as well as the prison officers entrusted here to take care of them. It is also in line with the government's desire under the wise and dynamic leadership of His Excellency Chair Professor al Haji Dr. Yaya A.J.J. Jame, the, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, to make health services accessible, available, and affordable, irrespective of one's social status or background. The ceremony earlier saw Minister Baji presiding over the official opening of the medical facility handed over to the Deputy Director of the Prisons Department, Yahya Jaju. This project, according to health officials, is expected to minimize the number of referral cases from the state central prisons to RBTH, as well as contributing to efforts the country is making in improving progress towards achieving national and global targets of TB control. Samuel Ba, GRTS. The Minister of Fisheries, Water Resources and National Assembly Matters, Abdul Kali, recently made visits to key fisheries projects in the West Coast region. Babakar Kamara accompanied the top party in reports. Minister Kali and delegation toured the $6.5 million Brikama fish market. $6.5 million fisheries project that started operations barely two years ago, coinciding with his second month in office as new Minister for Fisheries, Water Resources and National Assembly Matters. A new minister in the new sector, fisheries and water resources, uh, it's always important to go out to visit some of the projects and pro departments under your, your portfolio, familiarize yourself with the situation on the ground, and then uh, it will help in uh, decision making and planning for success of the department. Honorable Abdul Koli held discussions with management committee of the Brikama Fish Market Project, with discussions centering on the privatization of the market flowing some domestic impediments such as operations. A chance sought by incumbent committee to restore confidence was granted, as members seek an order year's mandate to regularize operational modalities and their relationship with the vendors. They have given me a lot of assurance that uh, if we allow them a uh, few more time, they will be able to really turn around the place. I had expressed some of my concerns to them that uh, we spend a lot of money in putting in place these infrastructure and facilities we want to ensure that they are properly managed and self-sustaining. He visited fish vendors around the market to hear their opinions, concerns and challenges while visiting all facets of the Japanese grant project. Babuka Kamara, GRCS. Mr. Luha Seidikan, the independent candidate seeking the Nyamina Dankunku constituency National Assembly seat, has withdrawn from the March 29th legislative election. A news release from the Independent Electoral Commission reveals that a field acceptance of withdrawal forms has been handed to Sadie Khan by the returning officer, Pa Makan Khan. The election will be contested by the NRP and APRC candidates despite the said withdrawal of the dispatch ends. The Chief of Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Masane Kinte, wrapped up his visit to the restive Sudanese region of Dafo with a whistle stop in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where he met with top officials of the African Union, one of the three key bodies with stakes in the UNAMID mission. GRTS Abubakar Kardaba was with the delegation, and this is his report. The final tranche of the CDS's fact-finding mission to the troubled Sudanese region of Darfur winds up in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where Lieutenant General Masani Kinte and team of Army heavyweights paid a courtesy call on the Deputy Chairperson of the African Union Commission, His Excellency Julius Moencha, and the African Union Commissioner for Peace and Security, Ambassador Ramtan Ramamra. Accompanied by the Gambian Ambassador to Ethiopia, His Excellency Sajo Jalo and Deputy General Kinte discussed with the top AU officials some of his findings in Darfur, focusing primarily on the stake of the Union in regularizing the travel difficulties incurred by officials going to Darfur, as well as the Gambian state of readiness to deploy the required equipment to the mission area. After seeing for himself the overstretching mandate given to his troops in Darfur, the Gambian CDS believe it is imperative for the mandate of his contingent to be revisited in order to ensure that their mandate commensurate with their strength in the mission area. We have uh, only 196 uh, all ranks in the mission area, but again, having assessed you know the the situation on the ground and the tasks you know which uh, our 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 contingent perform, you know it is um, uh, unbelievable. And I have engaged them so that um, they can look at, you know, how best we can um, 
either <coughs> there are two approaches either to increase our strength or they will have to you know you know revisit the, the operational um engagements of our troops you know so that um they you know uh, they, they they are they can also have uh, some some balance between you know work and rest the operation of the united nations african mission in darfur is from the onset agreed to be on a tripartite basis something the au officials believe is not leaving the test of time but whether this will affect pursuing the recommendations made by contributing members to the mission the cds has his opinion i think that is the aspect you know uh, um, AU is working on. It is a work in progress. I, I don't think you know we have come to a point where by you know one would say that you know their view doesn't matter any longer. The UN can just go ahead and, and do whatever they want to do. I think they ha they are working on that relationship and they are trying to improve you know on that. You know, like I said, you know what 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 is critical is that you know if we are parties to um, uh, this, this kind of uh, agreement. It's important that all viewpoints are, are taken on board. Our visit to Darfur has unadded situations that only see it yourself trips can reveal. Witnessing the deliberate case of extreme segregation between people who equally own unevenly shared lands and resources. Even though the heavy unamid presence in the restive region is largely coming down what many analysts call a Maoist people's war, cases of skirmishes across the border with Chad and the Central African Republic are prevalent. The Sudanese government is showing no intention of retreating, and so do the rebellion. But unless one side of the divide subdue, the war will continue. This is one of the guard posts usually manned by men and women of the Gambia Armed Forces. Even though the tour of the Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces is widely considered as a success, the situation here is not yet over until it is all over. Abouka Dabo reporting from Al Fashir of the Sudanese region of Darfur. The Gambia Police First has received a check for 500,000 dollars from Guarantee Trust Bank. Officials of GT Bank say the donation forms part of efforts to plow back some of the bank's hard-earned profits into schemes that benefit the citizenry. We have details in this report. The donation of the sum of $500,000, according to the managing director of Guaranteed Trust Bank, Femi Omotoso, forms part of the bank's contribution towards a worthy project that the Gambia Police Force is expected to embark upon. Over the years, we have enjoyed the confidence of our invaluable customers and played a leading role in the banking industry in the Gambia. We all know that supporting the police is a way of contributing to the maintenance of peace and security and we are so happy to give a helping hand to the police band unit in particular. The Inspector General of Police, Yankuba Sonko, spoke of his delight at the gesture. The IGP applauded the efforts of the bank, adding that it is heartwarming the Guaranteed Trust Bank recognized the services the security personnel render. The bank has recognized the role of the police in maintaining peace and security. As you may be aware, that uh, without peace and security in this country, bank bankers will be redundant because banks will not banks will not be established. The bank, this um, GT Bank, being aware of that, and again supporting us at this to this magnitude, is well appreciated. And then, on behalf of my department, and on my own behalf, I wish to extend our appreciation to the manager, the, uh, the, um, the MD, and the staff of the bank, and also all other banks to follow suit, because this is a national issue. The more you equip the police, the more efficient they become. The police stopped brass after receiving the handsome donation pledged to put it to good use. For GRTS News, I am Ajay Amisise. We will be back with more stories after this break. Pina, you want to lie, Salah? Come and give me. 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 Come